back to Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. Like now, it's like the sound of Jaws. Yeah, I um, that's probably the only um streaming app that. Well, I guess Paramount. No, we got rid of that one. So Netflix is probably the only one that we have, like that we use and not share with anybody, and we're not using somebody else's. Should have gotten Wal- Walmart Plus. Would have gotten you the Paramount Plus mm-hmm. ads, though. Well, we got rid of it because Yellowstone was not. There's a, there's not much on Paramount Plus. And now they're starting to like take a, like HBO Max is like, hey, we're gonna take this off our service, and everyone's like, um, you guys aired that. Yeah. Like, you're not gonna you're gonna take off your own show? Why? Yeah, I was really upset when they took uh, Friends and The Office off. Um, off Netflix. It was like And then it went somewhere else though, right? Mm -hmm, I think so. I forget which one. Maybe who, I I forget. But yeah, it's it's all money. They're running business, right? Because whoever paid that much to take it. So what ends, yeah, what ends up happening, they figure out how many people are watching this on the service and how much can we get if we just give it to another Mm -hmm. service and then you get paid more. It's just a disaster. Yeah. I don't subscribe to anything because I can't stand it. But uh, Netflix is now saying no more. They used to say, oh, you're sure password. Sure. Absolutely. It's kind of like the, uh, you know, it's like, like, like the, the illicit drugs. First one's free. Yeah, hey, years for free. Go on your friend's account. Now it's like, yeah, this could be a problem. Yeah, they um, Netflix actually tweeted out, I don't know, years ago, five years ago or something, and that they said like sharing is spreading the love. Or love whatever. is sharing a password. Yeah, yeah. And now they're like, oh, also don't share your password, or we're kicking you out. Yep. So uh, officially now the the company saying uh, giving the login to people that don't live at your house is no longer going to happen. For now, the company says they're not going to automatically charge you if someone logs outside of your network, but they do it enough times, they're going to say, this person can't log in until you pay the VIG, until you pay us some money to have another user on your account that might not be in your house. The good thing is now they have the the cheap Netflix, right, that has the ads Ads, or whatever. But I remember when Netflix was like, $3.99, Four three ninety nine, I think, when we first it. start, when we first got it, and I gotta give them though that they've gotten a lot better. Like they have their own series and their own yeah. movies and their own. Well, they had to because they were losing the rights things. to everything. Yeah, and so they've they've upped the the price, but still, I mean, fifteen ninety nine or something That's like a that. Lot. Yeah. Um, and the, you know what? You know what ends up happening. Cox Communications didn't do this, but other companies did. So Netflix was like, you know, you think you go to the internet, and all the internet just comes to you at the same speed. That's what net neutrality would have been. It would have been fantastic, but it didn't happen. So the companies, like other cable companies out there, were saying, "Oh, Netflix, you guys use a lot of our data. So here's a deal: it's going to be really slow for our customers unless you pay us some money, like millions and millions mm-hmm. of dollars. So then Netflix pays millions and millions of dollars behind the scenes. And guess who pays for it?" Us suckers. Yeah. The worst. Cox didn't do it, though. Props to Cox. Um, okay. Next thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to verify your devices. So you're going to have a four-digit code sent to your thing. And then every 31 days or so, you're going to have to log in and watch something on Netflix from your house. Mm-hmm. And if you don't do it, you're going to lose access to your Netflix. So if you're constantly traveling for work and you forgot to do it, boom, sorry. So weird. Tough. They say, uh, if you're traveling, don't worry. It should be okay. But... It's just, you're jumping through hoops. And then finally, they're going to watch you more closely. So the IP addresses, whatever you log into, they already have all that information, but now they're just going to like crack down on it. And like, this is why people pirate. I know. It's like the Golden Knights. I don't want to subscribe to cable. I don't watch enough TV, but I really want yeah, to watch a Golden Knights. Even if you do, my dad has, um, what, what does my dad have? YouTube TV, which is. Does not have does AT&T not. Sportsnet. Mm-mm. And um, it won't show any, and even like it just doesn't show any of them. So, my dad was just saying the other day, he's like, you know, I barely know what's going on because I just am able to watch the score on my phone. Yeah. So, yeah, D- it's really annoying. Direct TV now, which was owned by ATT, which owns Sportsnet, mm-hmm. didn't show the games. And so, what do I do? I go on a website that I shouldn't go on mm-hmm. to watch the games because I want to. And I tried paying for ESPN Plus because they have all the NHL games, but you can't watch it because it's in market. Mm-hmm. You can only watch like a game outside of the games. market. Right. Oh, yeah. I can't it's, stand it. It's pretty bad, but we, I, I don't know what we have an illegal something. I'm pretty sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> it takes some time to find what we're trying to do, but once we get it, it's great. It's great. I got, I got some. I got some hookups there. But yeah, I, I don't want to be that guy. I want to pay. Let me pay you and let me watch 
but yeah. I'm not going to pay for 900 other channels. I know, it's too much. 